Hello everyone, this video I will show you our new product that is King Kong M30. The M30 made by ESP32 module is an AC energy meter. So that totally have 30 channel current of the CT claim and 3 channel monitor the AC voltage. And this board also made by ESP32, you can integrate to Home Assistant by ESP Home very easily. Because we have designed the YAML file and uploaded to our website, you can download and direct it to use. And later I will show you how it works in Home Assistant. And this board, you can see, also have 30 channel of RGB LED. So we have made new innovation in this board that every channel of load will have one RGB LED. So the RGB LED is colorful. So that if the load current is very high, so the LED will be turned red. And if the load current is very small, or very low, so the color will be green. So that have many different levels of color and just according to different load current. So let's look at this M30 hardware details. Okay, you can see this is our Kinkoni website that have M30. You can see the picture of the M30 uh, made by ESP32 module. And this we have used this energy meet IoT chip that is BL0910 chip. Uh, this is high quality of the energy meet. So that we have used three pics of this chip and manage 30 channel of the current and the voltage incoming. And this we have used its ARM CPU. The ARM CPU will read different data from all this chip, IoT chip. And you can, you can see this we have designed support 4G module so that you can connect to your cloud server uh, without uh, Wi-Fi, without Ethernet, just by SIM card by 4G. And here you can see our PCB board lit. I will show you the active uh, just this P this PCB board details and you can see the appearance of the box and you can see that have 30 channel of CT clamp sensor so just connect at here and this you can see the board also support uh, DC 12 to 24 volt power supply and you can see that have colorful LED for different load okay let's look at this PG board in details. Okay, let's look at this M30. Uh, this is AC energy meet and this appearance also made by Amelia. You can see at here. And this board also you can see support installed on the DIN wheel in your power distribution box. And here you can see this is Wi-Fi antenna. And if you have the 4G module you want to install this uh, SIM card and use the 4G module and this have a hole uh, you can install another Wi-Fi extended antenna at here so that is for 4G by this module okay let's look at the PCB inside of the box okay let's look at uh, this M30 PCB in front of side and this is the back in front and you can see uh, that is the terminal for DC power supply and IS485 interface and this I2C extender. And this made by the ESP32. You can see this have a IPX Wi-Fi extender antenna and the Ethernet and the USB and this have two button. Uh, this one button is EN that means reset. Uh, this is reset, ESP32 reset, and this is download, and also you can define by yourself, just GPL0 is this button. And you can see here, that have three channel of voltage monitor, uh, from uh, 0 to 380 max volt. Uh, so it, it, maybe you have three phase, so phase A, phase B, and phase C. So you can monitor the three phase voltage if you have used a single phase. So you can just use only one of the voltage detect channel. And this is have the 10 channel of CT clamp input. Uh, this is another 10 
channel, another 10 channels. So total have 30 channel of CT claim. So just use this one, CT claim. And this you can see one, two, three, the three energy meet chip. So you can see at here, that is BL0910. So this is high accuracy date uh, for the energy meet. So, and this have an ARM CPU. Uh, this is ARM CPU. And we have designed this CPU and to read three chips data to here and feedback to ESP32 and feedback to RS485 interface. So this have connect with this ARM CPU by the server part. And also this have connect with this RS485 by the server part because this chip have multi server part. And this is SD card. If you want to save some data by yourself, you can insert an SD card, just a TF card, and save the data inside of the card. And this is for the forge module socket. And you can see, we have used this SIM7600 forge module. And you can connect to this socket and use the external, uh, this is the wife uh, antenna, and install into your box. So this can send your energy meter data to your own color server by yourself according to your uh, data. And this time you can see we have designed this RGBLD. Uh, this is WS2812, the RGB colorful LEDs. So maybe you can set this is RGB LED strip. And actually you can control every channel, just every one RGB LED. So that the different, such as the channel one of CD clamp, and the, this, this LD will change the color. And every channel will have work independently uh, with a different color for different input of the CD clamp. So this is very uh, useful, uh, just easy to understand uh, which load is high and which load is low current. So you can see uh, this is our PCB design. And the next, I will show you how it works in Home Assistant. Okay, let's look at the M30, how it works in Home Assistant. And you can see this is my computer. And in this Home Assistant web page, we have created the M30 dashboard. And in this dashboard, you can see the M30 have the current from 1, 2, 3, 4 until 30. You can see it here. Uh, 30, the uh, third chip of 30, just the last one. And you can see every channel we have current and energy, power consume. And, and you can see the energy uh, sum, just the, the total power consume. And the, this is the frequency, the power frequency. And this is the temperature of the IoT chip. And this is the voltage we have detect. We have connected the AC 220 volt. Actually, this is 240 voltage. And this is the power watt uh, for this channel one, channel two, because this meter is new, so this is zero. And you can see the second chip, uh, just the 11 channel. And you can see uh, the totally have so much channel of the current and the voltage and the power consumer and the frequency and the temperature. This is uh, for the load detect. And this we have added this uh, 30 LD indicate and different LD indicate that will have a colorful changed by the load. Uh, later I will show you how it works. And also you can use Home Assistant uh, to control it uh, in different color. And this YAML file we have configured, you can download from our Kinkoni form. You can see this is M30 that have a config YAML file for ESP Home. And you can see this also supported by Modbus Pro. If you have used this one, USB convert to as void file connect to the board directly. Uh, you can with, work without Home Assistant, without the ESP Home, just read by Modbus protocol directly. So this is used by the Modbus Pro uh, PC software and read all 
data from the M30. And you can see this is a YAML file. Now I have set every five seconds to update uh, the date. So you will see in Home Assistant that the date will update in every five seconds. Okay, let's power on of our load and show you how it works. Okay, let's look at this warm heat. We will test just as a load. And this you can see this M30. That have turn green because uh, no load is power on. So this is turn green because the, the uh, mobile phone camera is not clearly to see the color. Actually, this is turn green. And I have used this maker, this socket, I have connected it by the CT claim. So this socket, uh, the power, you can, you can come from this, this line, just uh, from this power incoming. Uh, this is AC 220 volt and to this socket. And this one is connected with my warm heat. Uh, just later I will power on and change the temperature. And uh, this is power detect I have connect with this terminal. You can see this terminal is from mount the AC power. So I have mount the 220 volt at here. And this CT claim, I have connect with this channel one. You can see this is CT one, positive and negative. Just use this two one. This two one have connect with the CT sensor. And the CT sensor maybe have this, this socket. I just uh, cut it. I just uh, cut it. So I just uh, connect to this terminal directly. And this multimeter, I have detect and pair. You can see, detect the ampere and connect with this, the socket power current. Because I need to compare this value and with my home assistant, detect the value whether it's correct. So this is for the ampere. And this multimeter, I will test the voltage. So you can see, I have used the voltage as uh, a voltage type, uh, just uh, this one, voltage. Later, I will show you how it works. Okay, I will detect it. So you can see, I can power on. Let's power on. Let's look at, uh, this is 0 0.21 ampere. Let's look at the home assistant. And you can see in my home assistant, that is 0 0.22. Because this date is every five seconds update. So this will be slowly. And because this multimeter is real time update the state. So you can compare uh, the date and to the home assistant dashboard. And now you can see we have detect the AC voltage is this value you can see at here. And now I will use multimeter to detect the voltage. So now I can use this multimeter. We'll detect uh, the power just at here. And you can see, I can detect it. This is the voltage. And please compare with the home assistant. And you can see, uh, this is the voltage I have detect. Uh, look at my home assistant. Uh, the value almost is seen. And now we will detect the current. You can see at here, uh, this is current. You can compare this value uh, with our multimeter. And you can see uh, this is 0 0.21. And this you can see 0 0.21, almost the same. And now I will change it. You can see I can press this, the function is changed. And the current, you can see, it become high. And also you can see, uh, this is 4.6. And this LD, you can see, that have changed a little color. That is a little yellow. And this is the value of the current. And you can compare with our 
multimeter. And you can see uh, this is the current 4.61. And let's look at uh, this one, uh, 4.66. Just a little difference, it's normal. So you can see 4.66 and this is 4.6. Okay, let's begin high. I can change it. You can see uh, this is very hot now. And you can see the current, the color is changed. You can see this LED is turned red. So now it's very hot. Uh, this is very hot. And uh, this one, you can see the current is become large. 8.6. And uh, let's look at the home assistant. You can see 8.6. And this you can see is turn red. This turn red. So you can see this value is changed almost as thin as this one. You can see as thin as this one. 8.5 ampere. You can see 8.5 ampere. Okay, and this is turn red. And now you can see the red. Now I can close it power off and uh, you can see turn green and this is the low the low current and also you can see in my home assistant uh, that is become low current okay this you can see we have detected the current and detected the watch and by this m30 so you can connect with many different channel and monitor by the Ethernet in Home Assistant and also use the Modbus protocol you can integrate with the PLC or other device just by the uh, USB converter IS485 so that will be very useful okay, thanks for watching